invited to this very special program this morning. You're going to learn how to be a tree hero. Yeah, you like that idea of being a hero? Right? Being a hero is always very special. All right, so we're going to learn about the angel pronghorn beetle, and we're going to learn how we can help to protect our environment, and how you, even you, kindergarten, first and second grade children, and your families can help to preserve important trees and your favorite trees that are in our community and in your backyard. Okay, so let's welcome our presenters this morning. Hey ho, hey ho, I'm Jonathan Cruck with a remarkable and a little bit scary but ah, hopeful tale to tell about the spotted bug or beetle. And once upon a time, there stood a beautiful tree you can make by lifting your arms. It stood not far from here, so everyone, lift up your arms and be that beautiful tree by the sea. In the tree, there were birds. Everyone, turn your hands into a bird. And there also lived a squirrel. Be a squirrel. Also, there was a bunny. Put on some bunny ears and be the bunny by the tree. There was also a raccoon. Be that raccoon there. The tree also even enjoyed visits by ants. Make some ants. They kind of tickled. So too did the, the bees. Don't worry, they won't sting, they're just making honey. You know who enjoyed the tree the most? A boy like you, a girl like you, who always enjoyed being by the tree. Now, one day, there sailed toot toot, a great ship, and somewhere hidden on the ship were strange beetles. They were black with white spots and little blue legs. And they had very long antenna. So long, you are going to have to turn your arms into those long antennas. And make a beetle face. Show someone next to you your beetle face. <laughs> The beetles found that tree, and the beetle began to lay some eggs. And soon, those eggs turned into little wiggly, squiggly larvae. Turn your fingers into larvae, and they began to eat holes in the tree. They even ate the part that makes the tree grow. And Soon, those little larvae turned into beetles. Let's turn into the beetles again. The beetles are called Asian longhorn beetles. Everyone say, Asian, Asian. longhorn beetles. beetles. You can eat the tree as the beetle. The boy looked and saw holes in the tree, perfectly round, about the size of your finger. See if your finger is about the size of those holes. The boy looked down and he looked up and saw some of the little branches in the top of the tree were dead. The boy also looked down on the ground, and there he saw sawdust called frass. Are you seeing the sawdust on the ground from the Asian longhorn beetles? The boy looked and saw that big black beetle with the white spots 
and the long antenna. It's called the ALB. Make an ALB there with those long antenna who would eat in the tree. The boy's teacher said, a strange beetle called the Asian longhorn beetle has come to our homes, our land here on Long Island. And it's very destructive. It eats and kills the trees. Well, the boy said, I, I saw that beetle. It's black with white spots and has blue tips on its legs and long antenna. I saw it. <coughs> well, what can we do? The teacher said, there's only one thing. And hello everyone. I'm here from the USDA. You know what we have to do? We're gonna have to take down this whole tree. Cut the whole thing down and vroom, vroom, vroom. After we cut it down, we have to grind it up. Why? Why, if we don't, the beetle would get to another tree and kill that tree too. So unfortunately, the whole tree has to be cut down and ground up so no other beetles can get any other tree. After the tree was ground up, people came and planted new trees. Everyone hold a little tree in your hand and put it down. Maybe take a shovel and let's dig a hole a little bigger than the roots. And carefully pick up the new little tree, put it in, pat some dirt around. Look, the new trees are starting to grow beautifully by the sea. And it won't be long before the trees are beetle free if we all look out. And you know what that means? Back will come the birds. Let's make the bird with our hands. And the squirrels. And the raccoons make some raccoon eyes. And the ants who kind of tickle. And the bees who make honey and don't sting you. And finally, who will enjoy the trees most of all? The boys and the girls, the children like us. But we have to do one thing. We have to watch out for those Asian longhorns. Make those long horns again, beetles. And children, that's the story I have to tell you today. But there's something else that's very important to know. And that's why we happen to have here a fellow who sometimes is known as the Chief Beetle Buster. And he's right over here. Mr. Joseph Gettleman is going to come up and tell you a little more about this dangerous, destructive beetle. And I'll be back in a few moments, too. Here we go. That was a wonderful, wonderful tale you told. Unfortunately, it is true. We do have the Asian longhorn beetle in this area. And we in the United States Department of Agriculture are relying on schools and children like you to help us find locations where the beetle might be living so that we can take the beetle out of the environment and save our trees. Now, does anybody know why trees are important? Oh boy, you all do, that's great. So then you know that trees are important because they help clean the air for of pollution, take excess carbon out of the air called sequestration, and the wood is used to build things, houses, furniture, skateboards, all sorts of things. And when the Asian longhorn beetle attacks a tree, it destroys the wood. It makes the tree look like that. Now 
Now this is something you can't use for lumber, and you can see how big the holes are. So we're trying to keep that from happening, especially in the maple trees, because otherwise we're not going to have to use maple syrup up there. So what I want to do is show you all how you can help us. cutting down the tree first. First thing you want to do is tell your parents or tell your teacher what you've seen, and one of the adults will get in touch with me or one of the people on my staff. We will send an inspector out to look at the tree to see if it really is the best. These are some pictures of some of the leaves. This is a London plane. It's right outside the school here. I saw one of those. One of the corner there is a maple. I saw some of those here. So I'd like to thank you all for that, and as a result, you're also tree heroes now, but I have the power to do something else. I'm making you all junior beetle clusters. So from now on, I took my training, you're all junior beetle clusters. If you see anything, tell your teacher, tell your parents, and they will get in touch with us. Thank you very much, and Jonathan, all you. Thank you. Beetle Busters, made so by the Beetle Buster in Chief. That is pretty awesome, and it's a challenge. It means you'll need to look at trees, maybe learn them by their leaves and barks, and bark, but also, here's a way to help you remember all about this Asian longhorn beetle. First, everyone, put on those antenna and say, Asian longhorn beetle. Say A L B. Say A L B. A L B. Is it in our tree? Is it in our tree? Let's look and see. Let's look and see. Let's look and see. Round. Little holes. Round little holes. Round little holes. Round little holes. About as big as your finger. About as big as your finger. Tippity top, are the tree leaves dead? 
tippity top are the tree leaves stay? Let's look on the ground. 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 Sawdust, sawdust, sawdust. Tell your teacher. Tell your parents. They'll call for the Beetle Buster. They'll call for the Beetle Buster. Takes the tree down. Who takes the tree down? Who takes the tree down? Who takes the tree down? So no more beetles. So no more beetles. So no more beetles. So no more beetles. We'll kill other trees. We'll kill other trees. So please look out. So please look out for the Asian. Longhorned beetle. B A L B. Let's make that beetle one more time. And now, since you're all beetle busters, give yourselves a round of applause. Who remembers? and can tell for us what the beetle looks like. How about this fellow over here, yes. It's black, what else? It has white polka dots. What else, this young lady here? It has bluish legs and it has long antennas. The antenna, they go from its, I would say almost from its nose down to its toes. That's what it looks like. And what will you see in the tree that's a sign of that beetle? Yes? About how big are the holes? How about back here with the green shirt? Yeah, how big are the holes? The size of your finger. Yes. And what will you see at the tippity tops of the trees? Yes? dead leaves or little skinny dead dying branches. And what will you see on the ground that shows the beetles around? How about um, this young lady over here, yes? Sawdust. You know what the technical term for that sawdust is? I forgot. Uh, 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 Chief Beetle Buster Joe, do you remember what that stuff is called? I remember. What? Brass. Brass. It's not exactly sawdust from a chainsaw, it's from the beetles chewing the trees, and they make something <laughs> called grass. And then, after you see the beetles have, are eating the tree, do you uh, start to cry? No. You might. Do you get sad? Maybe. No. What do you do? Who can tell us? How about this fellow with the cool hair in the back there? The mohawk there, the little yellow shirt. Yeah, what do you do? Would you yell out what you do? You can tell your teacher or the parent, and then the te what will your teachers or parents do about this beetle for us? How about uh, this fellow over here? Yes. You call. Well, you can call or look up on the internet. You can Google. A, L, B, and they're going to bring someone who, who works with uh, our chief beetle buster, Joe, over here, and they will have to bring down the trees, grind them up, and then what can be done after that tree has been all ground up? Yes? You can plant new ones. And that's great. I'm glad to see you. One more round of applause for yourselves. <laughs> 